coach, just knowing how you challenge your team to fight through adversity and also to have grit and fight and everything. What was your message to them seeing that they can pull out this win in double overtime? Uh, I was proud of them. You know, it was multiple opportunities um, where we could have given in. Uh, there was multiple opportunities where we could have lost the fight. And, you know, to a man, everybody who was a part of it decided that wasn't going to happen and made a play of some sort um, to help us win this game. And, you know, we talked about it in the huddle. Uh, we talk about it every single day. We will not quit. And that's a testament to those guys and us building that mentality uh, and building our identity. I know that Kevin Love said he had to talk to Darius Garland. He wasn't hitting his shots in the first game and he had a rough start. But when you're looking at what he was able to do tonight, especially in the assist department with his career high with 12, how impressive has he been in his, in this second season? Uh, I mean, it's it's growth. And we watched it. We were watching it happen before our eyes. Uh, Darius Garland is a hell of a basketball player. We knew that when we drafted him. Um, you know, obviously, because of his circumstances, injuries, and things like that, there were some ups and downs uh, in his rookie year. But he never wavered in his belief. And you can see it. And his teammates believe in him. Uh, and, you know, those two in particular carried us uh, when our vets were having a hard time. Uh, our vets were able to find it late, which is what those guys do. But in the meantime, our two young guards did a hell of a job carrying us uh, and putting us in position to win. Joe G. Uh, Joe G. Cavs .com. Hey, Coach. Uh, can you talk about uh, Jetty's uh, season he's had? He kind of came into camp feeling seeming very confident. Uh, is this bench role the right role for him? It's the best role for the team. Uh, and that's the most important thing. And he is, you know, willing to do whatever is necessary to help the team win. Um, you know, we, we talked about the play. You know, he came from the bench um, in late in the game and he hits you know, a ceiling three. Um, so, again, I give him a lot of credit. It's not always easy when it's you, but his attitude hasn't changed. His commitment to the team hasn't changed. Um, and he's been able to be extremely effective in that role. And then I also wanted to ask about uh, Andre Drummond. He got off to a real rough start. He looked kind of nervous almost at first. And then how he closed the game and specifically hitting those huge free throws down the stretch Teams used to hack him, and they did tonight as well, but he responded hitting those free throws. Yeah, and that's what veteran leadership does. Uh, that's what a guy who has his ability does. Um, you know, again, there's a lot of things that go into coming back to the place that drafted you and where you were for nine years. Uh, but once the dust settled, we saw who the real Andre Drummond was. And, you know, he carried us back in those stretches. Thanks, Coach. Evan. Evan Demerel Forbes, JD, how proud of you were, or how, how how proud of you were you of your guys in the defensive effort they showed late in the fourth and all throughout overtime? Uh, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, you know, we do all these drills every single day. We put in all these schemes, um, but if guys don't go out and get the job done, none of it matters. And these guys, you know, have committed to it. Um, you know, defensively, our guards were really good. They got into the ball. Uh, they were pressuring their guards, forcing them into tough plays and tough shots. Um, you know, our bigs did a heck of a job protecting the rim and then rebounding the ball, uh, which helped start our break. So you don't win this game if you don't get stops. Uh, and we were able to get stops and get out and run uh, and get some easy baskets and put some pressure on them. And does the over double overtime play any factor into possibly playing Kevin less tomorrow? Uh, he seems to be fine. Obviously, we're hooked. We'll see how he wakes up in the morning. Um, you know, it was a lot more minutes than expected, to be honest with you. Uh, he held on and made some plays down the stretch and seems to be fine now. So uh, we'll have a conversation and see how he feels in the morning. 